On Tuesday, April 27th, author of the book Rescuing Regina, Sister Joseph Marie Flynn, came to Cabrini to speak to students about the harsh realities facing many immigrants looking to come to America to simply live a better life. In her book, Sister Joseph recounts a true story of an immigrant woman named Regina Bacala, whose tragic story opened Sister Joseph's eyes to the severity of the problem of immigration when they first met in the year 2000. Meet Regina Bacala. She was an asylum seeker from the Democratic Republic. I met her in the year 2000 when she and her husband arrived at our parish. And out comes, sister, we're both seeking asylum in America. I mean, I'm sitting there. I'm sitting across the table from asylum seekers. That really got to me. I from this point on, Sister Joseph would develop a very close relationship with the Bacala family. And in 2006, she witnessed at first hand an example of the complications many immigrants go through in America. A bitter winter night, March 22, 2005. It's five years after they came to St. Mary's. 6.30 p.m. I get a phone call. That's how that book starts. Regina was taking a shower when ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, arrived at a tiny bungalow in Milwaukee to arrest her. David opened the door when he saw the word police on their vests and guns on their hips. Without showing him a warrant for her arrest or a search warrant, both agents quickly began rummaging through the house. When a startled Regina emerged from the bathroom, they announced their intent, denied her the right to phone a lawyer, and refused to let her, a victim of multiple rapes by soldiers, change into her clothes or even put on underwear. They took her as she was, in pajamas and slippers, no jacket, no boots, into the Wisconsin winter, leaving behind her terrified family. After David explained what happened, he said to me, I never think something like this will happen in America. In Congo, yes, they do things like this. But in America, never in America. Today, Sister Joseph continues to advocate for immigration reform. Up to 32,400 immigrant detainees, men, women, families, the elderly, the sick, the handicapped, the mentally ill, pregnant women, including traumatized asylum seekers, are treated as criminals and often jailed with convicted criminals in about 250 jails. That's why we're sitting here now. She urges all to become more aware of the situation at hand and become an active member in the fight against the severely flawed system. For more information, check out the website for Justice for Immigrants at www.justiceforimmigrants.org. I'm John Blackwood. Now back to the news desk.